Hello and wish you all a very happy Diwali. I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior. I'm a neurologist and welcome to my channel where we talk about neuroscience and everything. While you're out there celebrating Diwali, let's also side by side learn a little bit about how Diwali affects your brain. And the first and most important way is the lights. What is Diwali without the lights? I have spent the last one week decorating my house with these fairy lights, lighting diyas, lighting some fireworks. Diwali is all about how our brain is stimulated by the bright lights around us. It makes us feel good, it makes us feel warm. And this is because bright lights directly affect the reward pathway in our brain. It boosts up the dopamine network and makes us feel good especially when it comes to fireworks. If you are looking up at the sky and a bright firework suddenly lights up the dark sky, the kind of thrill that you feel is because of dopamine spiking in your brain. And that spike leaves you with an anticipation, when will the next firework light up the sky again? Now, who are you watching these fireworks with? Your closest family and friends, which brings me to the second way Diwali affects your brain, which is oxytocin release. Diwali is a time for social bonding. You come together with all the people you love and that increases oxytocin in your brain and you feel that bonding and connection with everyone else. In fact, the sense of bonding is so strong that even strangers when they meet each other act like they know each other and they like each other. I have met people staying in my building for the first time and I wish them happy Diwali like I've known them forever. This leads to a warmer, more open community. Now, at this point, I have to say that while I'm using Diwali as the example, because that's the festival going on right now, these points could also apply very easily to other festivals from other religions like Christmas, like Eid. So if you're following those religions, I'm sure you can relate to everything that I'm saying. An important aspect of oxytocin release is also reducing loneliness. Coming together with people you love and performing these rituals is a great way of reminding ourselves that, hey, we are not alone in this. And that brings me to the third third way that festivals affect the brain which is rituals. Rituals are predictable things that we do month on month or year on year and there is a certain pleasure that we get in knowing that this week on this day this is how I will spend my time. Doing predictable things like puja in the morning or visiting your relative's house carrying sweets all of these are rituals that bring a lot of comfort and pleasure to the brain. Rituals also act as a form of mindfulness activity. It grounds you in that moment and it promotes your well-being. Now, how can I talk about Diwali without talking about smell? Now, while you may not always appreciate it, Diwali is a festival of new smells. It could be a combination of fireworks, all the tasty food that is being cooked in the house, or the flowers that we use to decorate the house. But all these smells trigger a sense of nostalgia, memories from our childhood that adds to us feeling so good. Now, there is a dark side to Diwali. One of them is how fireworks can affect your amygdala. Now, amygdala is the part of the brain that responds to stress and stress can be any sudden unexpected thing that you feel can threaten us. And that is what loud fireworks can do to you. Now, remember that if you are the one lighting the firework, it is not a stress to you. In fact, it's a game. It's a pleasure. You light the firework and now you're waiting second by second for the firework to go off. And when it does, you're filled with pleasure because you were anticipating it. But imagine if you didn't light it and you were inside the house, a loud sound near you can act as a stress to your nervous system. People's blood pressure has gone up because of this. People have had panic attacks and dogs and other pets have had serious neurological problems because of the constant stress of loud fireworks going unexpectedly. So while we are out there celebrating Diwali, it's also important to know that some people can have negative impact because of some things that we do. And talking of unexpected impact, let's talk about diet. Now, Diwali is all about sweets and why not? It is a time for celebration and traditionally we have always associated sweets with celebration. But speaking as a doctor, I know that most of my patients with diabetes will come back to me in two weeks with high blood sugar. Some of them with sugars having gone up by 200, 300 points and they all sheepishly look at me saying, Are sweets khaliya na isliye. Because I had sweets, that's why my sugar has gone up. Now, while I am fully empathetic and understand the need or the pleasure of having sweets, let's remember that 
too much of sweets can affect your glucose levels and if you have diabetes or if somebody in your family has diabetes please remind them that have a little bit have it just for the pleasure of it you don't have to finish the sweet and both your body and your doctor will thank you for your self control and finally the part of diwali and these festivals that i really appreciate is how we feel gratitude when i am spending time with my family and friends and lighting the diya and taking part in that puja i feel an immense sense of gratitude for being where i am for being with the people that i am with for having close friends that i do i feel a sense of gratitude and i am thankful and that sense stays with me for the rest of the year and this sense of gratitude affects my thinking and i realize that i have a more positive outlook towards life after a festival like diwali and if you also experience something similar after spending time with your close friends let me know in the comments below so in conclusion this combination of sensory stimulation social bonding and rituals makes diwali such a magical time it's a truly unique experience that affects our mood our well-being and i hope that all of you have had a wonderful diwali bye everyone take care i'm going to see you soon in the next video take care